Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and welcome back to the young days of the solar system. We're using the simulation we built in one of the previous videos and what we're going to do today is experiment with the gas giant orbits and how they interact with each other. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to quickly go into chart mode and we're going to delete basically everything apart from the five uh, gas giants we've got in the simulation at the moment. So what we're going to do is we are going to simply just go ahead and delete pretty much all of the Kuiper Belt objects. Let's get rid of all those and then we'll get rid of obviously, all the inner planets. So Earth, Venus, Theia, and Mars. Oh, where are we gone? Hey, why are we over here, game? What's that all about? Right, so back to the other ones. So let's go ahead and delete or see all the inner planets. So I shall delete them like that. Okay. Right, so all we've got left now is Pluto, which has gone smaller again due to its glitch. Triton, Iris, Make Make. I guess we'll keep Make Make or Maka Make. And then we'll just um, we'll do it like that. And we'll put Pluto back up to how large it should be. So it should be 1186. So what's it's falling down to? Oh, no, it is 1186. Okay. Looks like my Triton may have got larger. That's that's rather strange. Huh, maybe not. That is that is bizarre. There we go. So how are we looking now? Oh yeah, because Triton is bigger than Pluto anyway. Okay, cool. So we've got all of that lined up. Inner solar system's completely gone. So now we have the outer planets. And what we're gonna simply do for this video, we're gonna run the simulation and just see what happens again. We're gonna see if Neptune expands out to its current distance. We're gonna see if the uh, fifth gas giant gets ejected once more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start. So let's speed it up. Gonna spam click it a lot. We want this to go really quickly, so we can already see systems are wobbling. Jupiter and Saturn, obviously, gonna be quite close to each other. But it's Planet um, Nine or the fifth gas giant, however you want to call it. That's the one we want to be watching mainly. So we can also see the dwarf planet orbits are starting to wobble as well. But let's actually really put some speed in here and see what we end up with. So let's uh, keep going. Oh yes, that is um, that is very quick. So come on, we're gonna start seeing some changes eventually when Jupiter and Saturn get in that correct spot to upset the. Uh, ninth planet so come on going even faster i mean we can't go much faster i mean we're gonna hit maximum speed i mean they are going very very fast come on ninth planet to the fifth gassy oh you can see its orbit is changing interesting stuff right come on that is running very fast for a thousand years so a thousand years a second more than that actually so pretty uh, pretty hectic stuff here but surely they're gonna interact oh saturn's orbit's not looking too good oh we can see saturn sort of got pushed out a bit there okay interesting oh Oh, okay, so pause. Okay, so once again, the fifth gas giant ejected. So we can go ahead and delete that. So look at that. Already, we are starting to see stuff change. Let's check the orbits of Neptune and Uranus as well, see if they've expanded that. So Neptune should be... Um, I see, it's so at 20 AU. Okay, that's not as much as it was um, in the previous video. Okay, Ur Uranus seems to have expanded further out by the looks of it, I want to say. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure there. Okay, so let's uh, head back to the sun and keep running, see what we end up with. So, sun... Come on, we let's set the sun. Okay, there we go. Play. Keep it going. Oh, it looks like Uranus has been ejected now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Oh, looks like um, it's an absolute disaster. But we are running the simulation way too quickly for it to be realistic. But we can already see some results there that, yeah, the, the, the fifth gas giant was first to be ejected once more. So, yeah, pretty uh, hectic stuff. And then Uranus got ejected as well. But yeah, to get the exact same scenario as reality would be almost impossible in this game. I mean, you need to have exactly the correct circumstances for everything to fall into place. So that's just another little experiment of um, what we're doing. We, what we'll do as well is we'll, um, we'll reset the sim and we'll go into it again. Obviously, we're going to delete all the uh, Rockies. So we're going to run that again. And the Kuiper Belt objects also had a uh, slight change there. So we're going to line them all up, repeat the process, and just do, just do two or three more experiments. And just see sort of what we end up with at the very end. So let's go ahead and just select all of those delete and then get rid of the earth excellent so let's zoom out okay so back to yep just the gas giants this time i'm going to click play see how fast it goes let's speed up i'm going to go nice and quickly once more come on a little quicker there you go okay so let's see what happens again so less stuff to run in the simulation this time so we can really hopefully run it fast and see what we end up with so we can see the time it does take a lot of time for things to happen which is pretty uh pretty crazy so come on Anything at all. Come on, we want to go faster. Yeah, Jupiter and Saturn's orbits do not like each other out of one bit there. You can really see those two are really interacting. It looks like Jupiter pushing on Saturn is also pushing on the uh, fifth gas giant, which is uh, pretty hectic. We can also see... Um, oh, fifth gas giant's already... You can already see the orbit is starting to be hurt quite heavily. Jupiter and Saturn. Oh, my God, that is crazy. Come on. So, how are we looking? So, obviously, Jupiter, Saturn, fifth. Okay. But you can really see those orbits are struggling. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right. Come on. 
this choke's go even faster. Come on. That's going really, that's crazy. Oh, so Neptune. Yeah, okay. So once again, ejected. So we can see it. That that does work. That does prove the theory that fifth gas giant just never would have worked between Jupiter and Saturn. Let's just also check the distances of Uranus and Neptune. Let's see how they have changed. So still 20 AU. You're on a 15. Okay, so they're fairly similar. But it's, yeah, Jupiter and Saturn are the ones that are really sort of uh, going at it. Not sure if we'll be able to get Neptune to migrate outwards again, but we can always uh, give it a shot. So we just have to really... Oh, so what was that? So that's Saturn that's gone this time. Oh, poor old Saturn. Completely ejected. But yeah, we're just running the simulation too fast for it to process properly by the uh, looks of it here. So Jupiter should, in theory, just keep wobbling the other orbits. But yeah, nothing should uh, upset Jupiter now because it's way more superior in mass and size than the other two objects left. So... A pretty, uh, pretty crazy little interesting experiment there. See, Uranus is not liking Jupiter's impact either. Neptune's orbit seems to be changing. Uranus and Neptune's orbit. Oh, dear. Looks like those two may um, end up in a collision or, or completely eject each other out. I mean, that's... um, Their orbits are really... really oh, my God. See, Uranus is further out than Neptune at the moment. So let's actually check their stats now. So what's Neptune's distance at? 18. So Neptune's actually migrated inwards this time. So 18.1. That was 20 earlier. And then Uranus all the way out to 19.5, which is where Neptune roughly started. So, they, yeah, they've had a pretty hectic brawl over here. So let's, uh, keep, let's keep it rolling. So we see one of these is going to fly out eventually, I reckon. Uranus and Neptune. Oh, dearie me. Okay. Well, your Neptune does have more mass than Uranus. So this could be interesting to see um, which one would survive this interaction. And obviously the orbit of Jupiter in there is still upsetting um, them by the looks of it as well. So really, uh, really crazy. Let's go a little quicker. Oh, we're traveling. We are traveling stupidly fast now. Wow. Okay. Neptune is starting to break away from Uranus's orbit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. See, Jupiter's been ejected. See, I, I don't think that's correct. I, I think it's just the game just can't process how fast they're going. So Uranus and Neptune. I mean, how, how, where did they end up in the end? So that's the end of this experiment. So we'll run it one more time. 18.8. Okay. So that's fine. What's Neptune's orbit? 26 i mean it did get closer to where it is today so we can sort of see some similar results so running it a few times get a few different results in here so we'll run it one more time and see what we get so let's go ahead and yep head back to uh yep a young solar system so let's open it up right obviously going to delete all the asteroids if they're in this one okay, which one do we click on let's just go ahead and delete those okay back to the inner solar system area now we're going to go ahead and delete all of these guys once more and also, guys, if you would like this simulation, make sure to check out the previous video. I'll put a link to it in the description on the Steam Workshop if you are interested in this uh, sim. Right, so let's um, go ahead and zoom out from all those now. Oh, the Earth is still in there. What's that all about? Okay, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so let's run this again. Let's see if we get similar results. So let's just go full speed in. Get it going. Alrighty, okay. So let's get it really speeding. Man, that's crazy how fast that's going. Right. It's not often we really get a speed up time this fast in our videos, so pretty, um, really crazy stuff. Okay, right. Let's keep going. Oh, that's a fifth Jazz Giant again. Not liking it. Looks like Saturn's gone as well this time. Yeah, Saturn's going to be ejected. So that seems to be a common feature. But yeah, Planet Nine, fifth Gas Giant, whatever you want to call it, is also really struggling to hang on in here. I mean, yeah, that, that's 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 pretty crazy. So Neptune as well. Dear, oh dear. Okay. Looks like Uranus has gone this time as well. Deary me, this is hectic. Right. So we all know that Planet 9 isn't going to hold on here. It's the weakest in mass. You can see its orbit is starting to stretch out similar to the way it was predicted a few years ago. So yeah, pretty, pretty crazy stuff because its orbit is really struggling there. Okay, how's um, how far are we from the sun? Okay, double the orbit of Neptune. Right. Okay, that's pretty crazy. And uh, Neptune is further than it is normally as well. Right. Okay, but Planet 9 is just not going to... It's going to go eventually. We know that for sure. Oh, oh, Jupiter as well. See, I think that's because we're running the simulation too fast and it just can't put the object around the sun quick enough. Because that usually happens with the inner solar system. But now they're the closest objects. Yeah, the inner objects don't like it when you run it this quickly. So again, similar results though. I mean, that planet 9 was very close to being ejected this time. So there we go. There's a little experiment on the uh, possibility of the fifth gas giant's um, disappearance if it ever existed. So, I mean, there you go. I mean... Neptune will probably toss it out eventually, but yeah, we won't keep running it. So yeah, that does it for today's video, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. If you've got any ideas for other videos, let me know down below in the comments. And also hit that like button. Subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 20,000 subscribers as we're getting super close. But with all that said and done, guys, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.